Today is Tuesday, which means it's time for another recipe. Welcome back, everybody, to another Tabi Eats video. A few weeks ago, we made a low carb slash gluten free cloud bread recipe for you guys, and you guys told us that you wanted more. So today, we're going to be making shirataki noodles carbonara. Let's get started. The first is ingredients. We need 300 grams, about 10 ounces of shirataki noodles, two eggs, cheese. Regularly, you use pecorino roman, but it is very difficult to find here in Japan, so today we are using parmesan rejan instead. 80 grams, about 3 ounces of bacon. Regularly, you use guanciale, but it is, it is super difficult to find here in Japan. Super, super <laughs> difficult. We tried to find these two ingredients for you guys, but seriously, it's really difficult. If you can find these ingredients, go for it. Yes. Pancetta is okay too. One packet of bouillon granules, black pepper, and olive oil. That's it! First, shirataki noodles. Okay. Shirataki noodle is very long, so first we cut this. Transfer to a cutting board. Cut in half like this. Yes, because these noodles are like really really long. Shirataki noodle has a little bit of smell, so today I will teach you how to remove it. Dump shirataki noodle into a pot. Like this and add water just to cover shirataki noodles like this and turn on the heat and bring to a boil once it comes to a boil turn off the heat and drain in the colander and make sure you drain very well that's okay. good enough that's enough okay, okay let me throw this away for you okay, thank you i'll get rid of this Shirataki noodles has almost no taste, so we want to add some flavor to it. Add 300 ml or 1 and 1 fourth cups of water into pot. And add 1 packet of bouillon granules into the water. And bring to a boil. Here in Japan, these packets of bouillon granules are common. But if those bouillon cubes are more common in your country, use 1 cube of that the same way. So soup is boiling, then dump shirataki noodle into the soup mm. and boil for about 2-3 to three minutes. Oh, I think it's ready. Yep, so set aside to let the noodles absorb the flavor. Okay, what's next Mr. Satoshi? Yes, uh, let's prepare eggs. Eggs? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have two eggs here. Yes. Crack the two eggs into a small bowl. One, one, two. two. Add some pepper, black pepper. And of course, you can add as much as you want, mm -hmm. right? Yes. It really, really depends on your preference. If you like it yes. super pepper, we add more. Mm -hmm. And cheese, great cheese, as much as you want. Right, and you know we love cheese, mm -hmm. so we're probably gonna use a lot of cheese. Yes. Okay. That's enough. Yep, I think that's good enough. Do you want more? Um. I think this is okay for now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, here in Japan and I don't know, maybe in some other parts of the world, um, you can get carbonara everywhere in various restaurants. Mm -hmm. But a lot of the carbonara that you get is not authentic. You know, they put cream, sometimes they put milk. And um, I never liked carbonara until I tried it the authentic way. That's when, actually, uh, that's when we both fell in love with carbonara. Uh, you know? Mm -hmm. It's yes. so different. Yes, so different. Yeah. And next, prepared bacon. Bacon. Mm -hmm. So sad that we don't have guanciale. Mm -hmm. You know, guanciale has a lot more fat, so you get that extra flavor, mm -hmm. but um, bacon is a good substitute. So let's cut the bacon into small pieces. Mm -hmm. Like this. Or so these are about like one inch one in length. Inch. Yeah. Okay, bacon is ready. Ready. So pour two tablespoons of olive oil into a frying pan. Once it's heated, add bacon into frying pan. Yeah. Oh, love that sizzling sound. And cook until it's crispy. Love this smell. I know, it mm. smells so good. Mm. Now, if you have guanciale, it will have a lot more oil. Mm -hmm. The bacon we have to do is kind of quite lean, actually. Actually, Japanese bacon is lean yeah. compared to the one in America. 
so not much oil comes out from the bacon. Mm. Wow, I think it's ready, Satoshi. Yeah, I think so too. Looks perfect. Yes. So let's Yummy. add shirataki noodles into this frying pan. Drain shirataki noodle into a colander. Like this. Drain well, completely. Add into the frying pan. Like this. And cook for another two to three minutes in the frying pan, like this. Mmm. Oh, it smells nice. The color of shiitake noodle turning to brown. It becomes very tasty. You know, so that you're watching you cook this. Mm -hmm. My stomach is actually rumbling right now. Mm -hmm. My stomach is making really, really weird sounds. Mm -hmm. I think it's okay. So, yeah. turn on the heat. Add egg mixture into frying pan and mix well. Do not overcook. Yeah, very important. If you overcook, it becomes a scrambled egg. Just keep mixing over residual heat until each noodle strand is completely coated with the egg mixture. Okay, I think it's ready. Yeah, I think so. Any more, then we're really gonna get scrambled eggs. Yeah. So transfer to a plate. Like this. Okay. Mmm, yummy. Like oh my god, it looks so good. And sprinkle some cheese. Oh, more cheese? More yeah, cheese. More cheese. Yes, we love cheese. Cheese, 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 grate some cheese, sprinkle some peppers. Yes. Yes! So our shiratake noodle carbonara is ready. Mm, it smells wonderful. You know, I so wish we had smell -o vision because then you guys can smell this beautiful, beautiful aroma. Yum! So let's try it! Yes, let's, 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 let's. So amazing. Really appetizing. Mmm. Mmm. Is it good? Mmm. Try it. Okay. Oh, this is good. Mmm. I think this is perfect. Me too, me too. Mm. It's perfect. Mm. The, mm. the saltiness, mm. everything is mm. just perfect. Mm. Nothing is too overwhelming. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Love it. I gotta have another bite. Mm. It's so good. Mm. Once again, if you're using shirataki noodles, make sure you follow those tips on getting rid of the smell. That's very important. Mm -hmm. Yes. And konnyaku has subtle flavor. Mm -hmm. Because once again, konnyaku itself has almost no flavor. Yeah, Actually, yeah. really, it has mm. no flavor. Now, when we say konnyaku, we mean shirataki noodles. They're pretty much the same thing. Just to let you guys <laughs> know. We don't want to confuse you guys. Mm. A few weeks ago, we made that cloud bread, which is, you know, low carb and gluten free. And we weren't sure if you guys want to see that, but we got a lot of requests over on my Instagram page, you know, when I showed it on my Instagram feed. And so that's the reason why we made that for you guys. And this is also one of our favorite low carb recipes. So if you guys want to see more of these types of low carb slash gluten free recipes, please let us know in the comments down below. We do have a few more healthy recipes in our healthy recipes playlist please click right up there for that one as always share this video with your friends subscribe if you haven't already done so give this video a thumbs up and until next time have a great week everybody bye bye